Hello everybody, this is KTreezy from KTreezy Gaming, and welcome back to Easy KSP. And part 5 is going to be very short and sweet, and basically this is a really, really helpful trick, um, which I found, I can't remember who it was, but another YouTuber had shown that you could make a ground vehicle and get a lot of science just by making a simple ground, ground vehicle that has all of your science experiments on it and how I did this was basically you add um, you have to go in and once you get um, the right amount of science you go in and upgrade at your research and development station um, and get the first aviation one um, which allows you to get landing gear such as what you see here and then also like the small airplane engines and so what I did was you actually make like a science capsule or a command capsule with the science package on it and you just put all your little science exper experiments on it and then you put some like struts like girder, girder segments all over on it to make um, you know kind of like a little rover and you use the airplane engines to um, thrust you forwards and what I did originally was I put the um, the front landing gear on all four wheels and what I found out was that they don't have brakes and it's only the rear wheel ones that have brakes so I ended up having to come back out here and um, putting the rear wheel on the back so that I could actually brake myself and so basically you want to just keep your throttle pretty low and because if you get going too fast you'll find that you can crash it pretty easily and you have to make sure that you have a um, it's best to use a scientist because he can reset the experiments and you just go around to every section of your um, your space center and you can actually get science at each one of those locations so you can get science at the landing pad at the uh, the landing strip you can go over to the research and development center you can go to the VAB, all those different things and get a bunch of science just by going on to that little section just um, stopping your vehicle um, on each section and collecting the science and it's easy as that and you can you can get quite a bit of science I can't remember exactly how much I got on here but it is definitely enough to upgrade at least one or two more portions of your research and development facility um, and as you can see right here, I'm using my brakes just to make sure that I'm not going to be moving around and I can get all the science. And when you get the uh, crew reports and the EVA reports, you can get 100% for transmitting those. So it's usually best to actually just transmit those. Um, but the other ones, you'll lose science if you transmit them rather than if you just collect them and recover the vessel. Um, and I don't really know why that is, but you just get more science if you collect them. So what I did was I went to like two or three sections, got all the science, and then recovered the vessel, and then started over. And you just do that until you've gotten all the science that you can get. And um, people don't really know this, but there are actually different sections or biomes all over Kerbin and the moon and every other planet. And each biome or region or whatever you want to call it has... Um, different science that you can collect so even if you get the temperature reading on the surface of the moon you might be in the Midlands and then you can actually take your your uh, science vessel and bring it up to the highlands or the lowlands or into a crater and then collect even more science and so every planet and moon has multiple regions or biomes where you can get more and more science and this is definitely the easiest one to do because as you can see you just build a little rover go around collect all the science and that is it so um, I hope this helps you guys and tune in next time for part six in the easy KSP series and if you guys have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them in the comment section and good luck and have fun